Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a simulation on Cisco Packet Tracer that is Smart Intelligent Home. This Smart Intelligent Home, it always keep its temperature maintained in the 22 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius. So when we are looking in this home area, I'm using one SBC, single board computer that is connected to home gateway through Wi-Fi and it having i'm using uh, three uh, three digit four digital pins one is to air conditioner and one another one to temperature sensor one to heating element another one to lcd display and uh, the default uh, that uh, laptop also connected to the home gateway uh, i'm getting internet from the isp through dsl modem so the temperature sensor always sends for the temperature and whenever it's the limits uh, if it is low than uh, 22 degrees celsius it will heat the heater will be on and similarly uh, whenever the temperature is uh, more than 24 degrees celsius ac will be on so it's keep on send, uh, sending its data to the server that is ioe server is the server server dns server uh, it translates the uh, uh, website name into its uh, uh, corresponding ip and similarly the ioe server that is internet of everything server uh, that's uh, that's uh, stores the uh, data sending from the SBC and we are retrieving data from this uh, IOS server. So uh, when, in, when we are discussing about the ISP router, the ISP router is configured on the DSCP configuration. So um, similarly for cellular telecommunication uh, from ISP router is connected to the central office server and from central, central office server that is uh, connected to cell tower Pro coaxial cable and there's two in this demonstration I'm using two smartphones these two smartphones are connected to the cellular tower so uh, we can we get the status of the, uh, the home that is a uh, real-time temperature monitoring and to, we can know the uh, whether this um, like this uh, AC is on or heater is on so we can able to know the status from this laptop through this home network and even from cell phone also through smartphone also through cellular cellular telecommunication we can able to know this so uh, i mentioned earlier this uh, uh, the, this home always keep to maintain that temperature and according to the temperature value it's keep on switch on the ac or vice versa and similarly switch on the heater so for a demo for demo i'm just opening the smartphone i'm just taking my browser and uh, I'm just entering the IP address for test purpose. I've just made a test.com. So when I and I press test.com, it first it will go to the DNS server. So the DNS server it looks for that its IP. So uh, it it knows oh, uh, the www.test.com is uh, is its corresponding IP is this. So it having a corresponding value. So it's point to that IP number so I'm entering the credentials uh, the username and the uh, password is default uh, admin and admin so I'm just signing in signing and you can see this SBC my uh, single board on computer on this that uh, is showing its current monitoring temperature value and it's showing this now AC is on uh, but at heat reason of condition so when the temperature reach 24 then ac will be uh, temperature is high then ac will be on and whenever the temperature is low the heater will be on so so guys uh, now the temperature is uh, 22 degrees celsius you can see that now the heating element is on uh, in this uh, ioe monitor also you can see that uh, ac is off condition heat is in on condition so uh, similarly when our temperature is it became you now you can see that it's increment to 23 even it increments to 24 25 means ac will be automatically isp run. router is configured on dhcp enabled so it allocates ip for the new device no need to uh, statically entering ip address for the new device uh, when we get into the dns server services we can see that the www test.com is pointing to the address of 200.170.0.2 that is the IP address of IOE server hmm. for SBC also a small need of programming is needed so in this 
scenario what i did means it will throw no green it sends it read the uh, temperature value from the temperature sensor and it do a small condition whenever the temperature is low the heat will be on similarly uh, temperature is uh, high ac will be on similarly. so i hope that you enjoy this video thank you